Hi, I'm Julia. I'm here to talk to you about the conforming level of maturity. This is the second level in conventional levels of maturity. Around about 12% of people in the US, UK and Europe fall at this level of maturity. When we look at the word conforming, we get an idea of what people at this level of maturity are like. They organize their experience of themselves and their world around conforming to the community standards in which they live. I guess this idea comes from the idea that, you know, when we were roaming on the plains, that if we behaved in alignment with the group, then the group would let us into the cave when the woolly mammoth came through to wreak havoc through the prairies. But if we were left on our own, we might be killed by the woolly mammoth. So this idea that we need to comply in order to fit in, and this, this sense of fear of what might happen if we don't fit in, when we have this level of fear, we might suppress our own desires and needs so that we can continue to fit in. For example, if it's not okay for me and my community as a woman to drive a Harley Davidson, I might suppress my desire to drive that Harley Davidson in order that people accept me and look after me. In organizations, people at this level build communities where things can happen, where the stability of the organization can work well. Not always um, a responsive group because the focus is on maintaining the traditions and norms of the group rather than being responsive to the world. So let me read you the story of Petra. Petra is an example of someone at conforming levels of maturity. So Petra works as a school teacher in the local school. She's quite, she's working and living quite close to where she was born and where her parents still live. She visits her parents every day after school, looking after them in their old age, but also getting their advice on all of her daily decisions. Petra and her mom have a great relationship. They even share clothes from time to time. Both are pillars of the local church and they both serve on the board of the local orphanage. They are known in the village for being good people. So here we have Petra who is going to her mom almost daily for advice on how to live. Now my suspicion about Petra's mom is that she got her recipe for life from her mom and her mom in turn got it from her mom. So it's possible that Petra's mom is teaching Pe Petra maybe an 18th century recipe for life. So the idea here is that the norm continues and that we behave in relation to the norm and that we don't challenge the norm. So Petra's getting the recipe and she's enacting it in her life. She might even be teaching her children to follow the recipe too. Petra and her mom, who may also be at this level, are nice people. They fit in, they're not argumentative, they don't have a strong opinion about things, they think the right things and they behave in the right way. Nice people. Part of the niceness we find at conforming level is an attempt to stay in the group. Let me be nice, then people will include me. Because if I'm argumentative or different or difficult, then perhaps people will exclude me and being excluded, excluded is dangerous. So this level of maturity is all about fitting in. Working with these guys in coaching conversations my suggestion to you would be to help them explore where they naturally are different. Perhaps they have hobbies and pastimes that are not 
conforming with the norms. Perhaps they've left their place of origin and are trying to fit into a bigger city. Because it's through those explorations of where they differ from the norm that will help them to grow and become more relevant to the context in which they operate.